If you are looking to go glamping in North Devon, this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a mum of three and on my channel I post videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I post every Sunday, every single week, so I would love it if you subscribe for more content and do say hello down below so that I can get to know you. A big part of finding yourself is making time to unwind and chill out with your family. So this video is all about glamping, which you'd think is probably the least relaxing thing, but actually when you switch off from all of your social media, you don't have any phone signal or anything like that, it actually does help you to unwind a lot. Um, and North Devon is beautiful. If I just show you the view, this is what we woke up to this morning. So we've come to North Devon just for Monday through to Friday. Today is Tuesday. Um, we actually arrived late last night. We were allowed to check in at four o'clock and we basically just unpacked our suitcases and we were so tired from getting up really early to get here um, that we just sort of relaxed, had dinner. Um, but today we are going to make the most of this dry weather, which is a miracle that we're on holiday and have dry weather. Um, and we're going to go to Exmoor Zoo. But I thought I I would just show you around our beautiful safari tent before we go. So if I take you into the main living space, we've got a sofa area, <laughs> she's looking at the zoo things, um, and they do provide a television and there is signal, there's a signal booster thing, so you know, if you're really stuck for something to do, you can watch telly. Shelving area and a little heater should you need it. That's through to the bedrooms, I'll show you in a second. You get a, this has got a cupboard, a fridge, it's got all of last night's dinner, so sorry about that, I need to wash that up. Um, two, a two hob thingy, and a sink, and all of our junk. Um, then they do give you a kettle, a toaster and a kettle, and some cutlery, we've brought extra things, and then they do provide, you know, extra utensils, um, in here and then all of the plates and things that you need under there. There's a lovely big table area which you know when you open that up you've got the beautiful view so when you're looking out there I mean what more can you want? Coming through behind the curtain we've got the double bedroom which has got a bedside table, a lamp, double bed they come with blankets so obviously you know this is a tent it's not got walls so it does get a little bit chilly at night there is a wardrobe as well um, with spare pillows and extra duvet and things like that so um, you know it's everything that you would need coming round this is the girls and Wills's bedroom so two single beds we brought the travel cot um, and they have got blankets for them as well and obviously then storage space and there is a little lamp down there um there is no divide um between the rooms which you know if you were coming as say two couples that might be a bit of an issue but um you know for us it's, it's fine um so that's the bedroom so for us it's a perfect base it's got everything that we need you can cook it's got comfortable beds which is really important and if it's raining there's plenty of space for us you know to to live indoors um we're gonna go to the zoo now but later on the girls want to go swimming um so i will show you around what the pool looks like and show you a couple of other bits but mainly i would say it's to be used as a base um so if you're wanting to come to north devon you know this is it's a really lovely way to to live for the week um while you explore really lovely time at the zoo didn't we it was really nice like we first got there and I thought oh it seems a bit um empty but it seems that there's sort of two routes you can go around one way and it's 
slightly larger and then most of the animals are sort of the other side so by the end we felt like we'd walked for ages and there was just loads of animals they had a little activity trail as well um for well at least the older children to do there was nothing for william which was a bit disappointing and like you only got a sticker so they could have given a sticker for the little ones so that was a bit of a shame he was about upset but yeah really nice to do it says it's award-winning as well and you can see why like they've got it, you know it's nice and it's definitely worth a visit isn't it we enjoyed yeah. it we do love a zoo um we're gonna go swimming well gracie doesn't want to go swimming do you mm. today no it's a, we're a bit tired um and will's absolutely loathes water um so um lil's and daddy are gonna go swimming aren't they so we're gonna just go and get some wi-fi because there's no wi-fi down where um our safari tent is so we're gonna go and get some wi-fi um so i can check my emails um and get a drink or something like that while we're waiting for them to do swimming hey yeah So today we weren't really sure what to do, um, had a really lazy start, I don't think we left until about 10.30 um, and once we went somewhere with internet we decided to use our national trust passes I've just climbed up loads of steps, so I'm exhausted. But we've come to Dunster Castle, which it, for a change, because we've been to quite a few castles recently, this one isn't ruined, so I'm really excited to see what's inside. Then pull each corner up to create a square. Can I have a go? One more try. <laughs> this is to go on your head. I don't think you'll be able to move if you get this one. Oh, Lily! Look up. Is it talking? So we're back from the National Trust and honestly it's one of the best National Trusts we've ever been to. It was called, where did we go? Oh, Dunster Castle. Dunster Castle. Dunster? Dunster Castle, I think so. Um, and it's just really good, like the children got little booklets to like help them go around each room and learn things. But there were things for grown-ups as well. You could sit on some sofas in the one of the sitting rooms that the ladies would have sat in to do their reading after dinner. And when you went into the kitchen, there was um, an area to teach you how to lay your table properly, you know, for starters and mains and soups and sorbets and things. Um, and then how to fold napkins properly. Just, I don't know, it was just really interactive and really nice dressing up for the children. Um, definitely, definitely recommend Dunster Castle if you are in North Devon. I just wish it was nearer us because we would be there all the time. Um, we've just been playing football. Well, I say I was cooking dinner, not me, but the children playing football. It went over the edge. So I was like, well, that's, that's it, it's gone. But good old daddy ran down to the beach because there's some steps behind and he went to rescue the football so luckily it just landed on the beach um but yeah so just doing dinner uh and then we're just i think we're gonna just have a chilled evening just enjoying this beautiful view basically i think that's the only one she knows that's fine that's fine that was fine it is our last full day here and so we've come to the big sheep which I'm not entirely sure we have been here before but I can't remember um, it was so long ago I can't really remember what it is I don't think it's a farm or anything like that it's um, more like a mini 
activity park. It's got lots of different rides and things that the children can go on. They were really young when we came here before, so um, this time they'll be able, the girls at least, will be able to go on lots of the rides. Um, and yeah, that's yeah, it's our last full day here already. Tomorrow we'll be going down to South Devon actually to go and visit friends. Um, but it'll be the end of our holiday, if you like. <laughs> we've never been here before actually so we don't know why we we knew the name maybe it was suggested to us um, and for whatever reason we didn't come but it's brilliant we're really enjoying it um, children are loving it so yeah we haven't been before but we would definitely come again <laughs> big sheep um yeah we hadn't been there before it's just, just so weird because we just really thought we had but we haven't been there before um but we would definitely recommend it if you're coming to north devon or even like mid devon you could travel up there's so much to do there was a sheep show sheep shearing sheep dogs ice creams go-karts carousels the piggy ride that we all just absolutely adored um just yeah just a really nice day out for the little ones which you know so often it's focused on the older ones but this one definitely you know it focused on like lily's age i think it was sort of that mid-range um but also wills could join in and gracie was really happy joining in as well um so yeah definitely recommend going there they've all gone swimming except for wills is asleep so i'm staying behind and i'm packing i'm getting everything ready so that we can just relax tomorrow morning relax tomorrow morning before it's time to go um and then i'm going to cook dinner we're going to have curry tonight i might just sit and read my book for a little bit before he wakes up and before they get back and before i need to start dinner um just enjoy some time just for me dip dip in a sauce yummy <laughs> and early this morning it's time to move on to our next destination which is south devon staying with some friends so that is the end of our stay with john fowl holidays big thank you to them for having us i'll put a link down below to post that i'm going to be writing i'll be back next week with another upload so i will see you then bye